How's it going, YouTube? It's your boy, Ron. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. In our last episode, after we defeated Norman, we started doing some backtracking all around the southern um, region of Hoenn. And I'll go ahead and pull up the map so we can see what I'm talking about. And we were exploring pretty much the, you know, the sea routes of starting from Petalburg all the way to Slateport City. We're pretty much halfway through. We're going to be exploring this bottom half over here. And then once we do, we'll just start making our way up north so we can start heading over to our next destination, which will be Fortree City. So let's go ahead and start making our way over to the east side because there are some, of course, trainers and one landmark that we can visit right away. And of course, trainer battle. Do you know a little town called Duford? Yeah, we were just there. Like, what? <laughs> what? Okay. Dickies. Um, let's just go ahead and defeat her. One thing I didn't show and mention, um, in Duford Town, um, one thing you can do, where's, okay, can't find it. Um, one thing you can do once you defeat Norman and you make your way back there, uh, there is in Duford Town Hall, if you speak to one of the scientists or maniacs there, it's one of those sprites. If you talk to one of them, you will actually receive a very powerful TM called Sludge Bomb, which is a very powerful poison type move. Not many can learn it, but if you have a Pokemon that can utilize it, especially with its um, stab and offensive prior um, offensive powers, it is a very good move to have. It is very powerful and very good to have, especially in this part of the game where many moves are aren't learned very highly at this level. Where st you will still be in the level 30, so it's not the greatest move set you'll find, honestly. I hate this. Too bad. Our boy Road can just dominate in this region, in this area. It's all. Uh, in fact, I really don't want to meet Wild Pokemon right now. I believe I can find it because I can never really find this item when I want to. Yeah, see, like I can't find this item when I want to. Uh, right here. What is wrong with me? I can't find the super repels ever. Like that's just my negativity about myself. I just can't find it. Seems like my backyard does that. That's a little interesting, but okay. Boy, Tony wants to battle. And of course, Road is just gonna annihilate competition very easily because almost every trainer here is gonna have a water type and pretty much nothing else. So that's the benefit if you have like a grass or electric type, you just get that benefit. I lost on my own home field. Ha, home advantage is not always a big guarantee. Alright, and we got Tony. Okay. Sent her a double battle. We always battle Pokemon, me and my sister. I always lose when we can beat you two on team. Alright. Oh, wow. Alright, and the sister has the higher level Pokemon since it's the older one. Makes sense. Alright, and since Tentacruel is part poison type, Psyduke will do very highly damage to it. Wink is getting them low ups, perfect. Ah, so close, so close. All right. Uh, let's just go ahead. Wow, you're at a higher level than us, obviously. Alright, and then... Uh, let's just battle this boy. You got to just stop to see while it's drifting in the waves. Alright. Um, just to continue, because I don't want to spend just the pretty much majority of it being out in the ocean just battling trainers. I'm going to just speed right through it. Might as well. Wingle. Yeah, it's going to take one hit easy. <laughs> I know, this looks funny. Another tentacle. Oh, I could have actually. Yeah, I could have given it to, the, to my boy Oink. Yeah, you know, you dozed off. Alright, another double battle. We'll go ahead. Did you want to battle me? Sure, I'll go with you. And then, I'm in the middle of triathlon, but I'm nowhere near tired. Oh, yeah. Swimmer and triathlon. Alright. Goldeen and Staryu. Oh, pretty much our first introduction to Staryu. In fact, it is actually one of my favorite Pokemon. It is really my second favorite Pokemon. Well, the evolutionary lineup, Starmie is my second favorite. Starmie is like up there with one of my favorites. 
Starmie is just such a great all-around poke, and for those of you familiar with the game, all the way to the beginning, when it involves Starmie, a very powerful specially offensive type Pokemon. Decent defenses, it's not exactly bulky either, um, but very powerful. And its move pool is very unique. It has a very good um, spread of um, offensive type coverages that it can protect itself against. And honestly is one of the best folks to have in pretty much any generation. Probably not the greatest later on in the games, honestly. Probably until after the 4th gen, it probably wasn't one of the greatest to have in terms of like a water type and or a psychic type. But it's still one to really have on the team. That's that's no question. Uh, Edward, why are you calling me? I don't want you to- I don't care. I don't want to battle you. Uh, let me see. My boy Road is actually very close to a level up. He's pretty close. Can this? No, this can't be a double battle. It's too far. I love to see. I forget all my worries when I say. All right. So one thing I am gonna do very quickly is I'm just gonna cut through these two battles real quick. I do want to make my way a little bit over east because the landmark we are approaching is almost there, and I'll be explaining a lot about that in today's episode. So if you guys just stick with me, I'll be with back in just a moment. All right. Welcome back. So, did have to cut through those two battles very quickly, easy wins, and actually, Road is super close, he's only really one Pokemon battle away from a level up, which is, from an evolution, excuse me, and that's going to be very good for us. But, this is actually the location I was talking about, the abandoned ship. Um, I think they did a scene like this in the anime, I really don't remember. Um, but of course, the abandoned ship is just one of the places you can visit once you get surfed, and there are some good items and some exploration to do here. Um, I think there is something else that's connected to here, but I don't remember. Um, but an item that you can find here that unfortunately we can't get now because we don't have all the limited ways of getting there is a very powerful ice move TM that we definitely would love to have on our team just because of how good it is. I skipped the double battle! <laughs> okay. Uh, no worries. Would have been nice though. Um... Uh... Honestly, Road should get a uh, level. Should be getting a level up on Pokemon, honestly. Ah, too much. Alright, you know what? Let's skip through it. Sonic Boom, why not? Yeah, Sonic. No, Road! No, I can't even pay attention! Alright, I need, I need Oink to level up because Oink is too low. Alright, Horsey. Oh, Horsey! First time we've seen Horsey, too. Another good water type. Although a little bit underwhelming in this gen, I'll be honest, but when it evolves into its final form, Kingdra, that's actually a very good Pokemon to have. Alright, and it can learn Magic Coat. Um, reflect special effects back to the attacker. Uh, I'll get rid of Sidewave since Sidewave is completely useless. I have Magic Coat for that. Nah, not just curious, but also strong. No, I don't want to... Why does everyone want me on their poke nav? I'm not a popular dude. Alright, so let me go ahead and revive Road since I can't pay attention to HP. That was like my own fault. Heal it up real quick. Because after this trainer battle right here, we should... There we go. Wow, oh, I've been found. Oh, well, of course you've been found. You're exactly hiding. Alright, you have a zigzagoon, boy! Older, older Sleuth isn't gonna be. Very close. Uh, Electrike, I'll switch. I'll let. I'll let Seafly handle this. Uh, yeah, never mind. Oh! No, Static! Static is such an annoying ability, but I love it. Demetrius. Head down this way. Alright, so there's nothing there. I think this is not a sign of trainer. Uh, there's only so much we can do here now, but we can do a good amount right now. Uh, let me get rid of that paralysis on see money. I don't want him having that. Uh, I don't even know how many more trainers. Oh, the door's locked. Oh, yeah, so yeah, we can't get in there without the key, which I think that is the location that has a good item. Um, oh, yeah, the dive ball. Don't need that. Is this a trainer? <laughs> more off the moment I try talking to him. Pretty sure this guy's a trainer. Yeah, okay, I knew it. I was like, I'm pretty sure. When you go to the sea, we say we always bring our Pokemon. How about a quick battle? 
Better be quick. I'm trying to get Road to be a freaking electro now. Spiel. Oh, Spiel! I like Spiel. I oh, I did consider bringing Spiel into the team. Um, it's not exactly a great water type, I'll be honest, but it is somewhat bulky, just somewhat. It is a good water ice type. It's pretty much like the seal of the seal of Gen 3. You know, S-E-E-L, you know, the seal. And then its final evolution is supposed to be like the Dugon of this of this generation. Um, they're both supposed to be like bulky water ice types. But the design on Steel is just so cute. Like I just like it. That's why I wanted it. But I just decided against it for this let's play. Uh, just because I wanted to add different variety. Like I've never used Oink. Wanted to use Oink. But I've used Steel before. Alright. First time really seeing the show. Very powerful offensive type play. Would have loved to have it if I was able to trade to the champ, because the champ is a beast still. But psychic types can't handle it, so let's go ahead. And then now we'll see it. We'll see it. We'll see it, guys. It's happening. It's happening. And there we go. It became an inverted Pokeball again. <laughs> Our boy Road is now Electro. There we go. And now let's go ahead and reflect that down there from my boy, Electrode, coming into the game. Let's go. That's what I like to see. Look at that. Look at that speed. Almost 100 base speed at level 30. That's freaking amazing. No Pokemon's matching that. That's how you know it's just incredibly fast. Incredibly fast. Not exactly the greatest specially offensive either, but you know, it's that's what it's meant to be. So honestly, it's still a good Pokemon regardless. So what I'm going to do is keep road in the reserves for now, and I'm gonna let Sea Money and Oink take over because I need them to level up a bit more. <laughs> Yay, it's a ship. I never would have guessed. I never would have guessed, little boy. I just head to the room just to get into a double battle, but that's the way it is. I do like Emeralds for including a lot of double battles in this game. It's actually a great way to introduce it, and it's just... Since you see them a lot throughout the journey, it's a good way to like get experience with it, and for your Pokemon to get experience with it as well. Uh, I really don't. That Sand Slash is a little dangerous if I don't get rid of it. Alright, let's get this up. No, not Water Gun on my seat, buddy! Get out of here! And of course that, um... Headbutt, I mean the mud slap did its work. Uh, what I'm gonna do is. Yeah, this and. Like... Oh, so close! There we go. Defense curl. No, get gone now! Alright, see, money's level 30, perfect. Getting more bulk. Ah, uh, there's something about you that sparkles. Oops, that didn't go well. Nope. And let's go ahead and just grab that item. A revive. All right, perfect. An item that I could definitely be using. Oh, this is another double battle. Oh, we're on search for treasures, but we discovered a trainer instead. It's funny how they're in an abandoned ship. It's not going anywhere, so it's like <laughs> you're just spending their time in an abandoned ship. All right, I need to calm down. That's not necessary. Uh, I don't know which one has worse stats in defense. It's gonna try to heal up. It's gonna try- what? Nothing even happened yet. I'm putting like the two slowest Pokemon I have, and both of the opponents decide to heal first. Like, what? Get, get out of here, get this battle out of here. Alright, Boink's getting them level ups too, just what we need. So strong, so strong. You make me so angry, I'm gonna register for that. What? What? This girl's crazy. I'm pretty sure the little boy trainer. Yep. What's so funny about having an inner tube around the ship? Nah, not much. Get Meryl out of here. Just speed through this. Come on, see, buddy, just speed through it. 
speed through it. Speed through it. Speed through it. Speed through it. There we go. With your little tube. Uh, I think I already explored this area already. I really don't remember if I did or not. Okay, but we are actually coming close to the end of this exploration here. Because... I'm, about to, I'm just looking at this throw up right now. <laughs> what the heck? Once you go here, we see this room, and one thing that this generation introduced was a new HM move called Dive, but we can't access that until very later in the game. So that's when we're gonna be coming back here, because that dark, dark and blue section of the ocean, that's how you know you can dive underwater, but since we don't have it, we can't really do anything else, and we can't really continue exploring this area anymore. Because, yeah, we go here, we go here, we go to the top, and then we see the captain. I'm investigating the ship on behalf of Captain Stern. A familiar face? You know, we saw him back at Slingport. He also made he also asked me to make a scanner, but I haven't found any success. Ah, the storage key. Yeah, he's had no success. And also those like blackened areas and those are just pop like holes, so we can't access that. Hey. And never mind, I can't read because you can actually access that item. It's TM13, one of the greatest ice moves in the game. And even still to this day, Ice Beam. A very powerful, 100% accurate ice type move. Has a chance of pleasing your opponents. And if your Pokemon can learn it, please do because it is immensely useful. It is very good to have. Um, I'll be letting one of my Pokemon learn that later. Um, pretty much the only Pokemon that can learn it is my, uh, my boy Kip, since every other Pokemon has no way of learning it. But I'll worry about that later, because right now, now that we explored as much as we can of the abandoned ship, I'm gonna go find my freaking Super Repels and start making our way out of here and start heading up towards Slate Port so we can finally start our adventure again. And of course, what's with that without trainer battles? My liar of a boyfriend told me that I look great in a big. Okay, that's um, something we didn't really need to know about. Tara, I really don't care about that, honestly. No, not smoke screen. Why, do, why does everyone want to lower my accuracy? See, buddy, please. There we go. Don't do this to me. I want you to be lair on already. Uh, let me get Oink out here. It'd still be a while before it becomes its next evolution, but as long as it can knock out its opponents, get some XP gains, all good. Another double battle? Yes, please. I take huge pride in my Pokemon. We'll show you one speed battle. I love water type Pokemon. I love other Pokemon too, but he has one. He's a sailor after all. I mean, come on, that's the main. Wow, okay, this is gonna take a while. There's three each. Okay, uh. I'm gonna switch real quick to my boy Kip. Yeah, so there's not going to be a lot of XP gain since there's a little leveled, honestly. That should knock it out easily. Well, both of them will get knocked out easily because of that. That and side beam again, running out of PP for that. I bet Kip almost there. Swallow. Oh, that's a, that's a nasty poke. Wait, no, I don't want that. Uh, I'll just do take down. Side beam is the only attacking move I have. No, cool trade is going to heal HP. No! Well, Oink's level 30, I'll take that. Just magic coat. Yo, we shot at ourselves in a magic coat. Then. Right. Not too many decent XP games, but we got Kip to level up, so we're getting there for our final evolution. Grab the uh, but everyone wants to register me. I'm never gonna really talk to any of these guys. Although, if you can rematch these trainers, because that is still good, valuable XP to gain. Still very good. 
Alright, so this is just going to take a little bit longer than I would still like it to be. So I'm going to cut back real quick so I can get my head myself to short and I'll be right back with you guys. Alright guys, welcome back. We are not actually done. This was actually the last, I believe this was the last trainer. I'll be starting to walk up north, but we have to cut to this important announcement because another evolution, our boy Oink is evolving now. This is what we've been waiting for as well. Two evolutions in an episode. Come on. Perfect. Let's see this. Let's see this. Boy, Oink is now a Grum Pig. A nasty psychic type of thing. Let's go. And let's go ahead and make sure we initiated right there. Got Grum Pig now. Let's go. Now he's starting to have a very good looking team. Unfortunately, see when he did die from that battle. But look at that. Look at that. Look at that special stats. 83 defense, 70 attack. Especially good. good. Physically defensive could be better. And of course, it's not a physical attacker, so it doesn't matter. And it's not that fast, but it does have some good HP to make up for it. Very good poke to have it be. Once it learns Psychic, no competition. Alright, so that was the last trader. So let's go ahead. I'm going to heal up my pokes uh, very quickly, so that way we can make our way over. Uh, oh yeah, the Reflect wore off. Okay. And we are hitting towards the mark at the end of the episode, so honestly, we did do everything we needed to do today. Uh, we explored the last portion of the bottom half of Hoenn, where a lot of the ocean waves are, Route 19, 110. Visited the abandoned ship and grabbed Ice Beam. Come on, that's a very good move to have. Now we have that. And honestly, there isn't too much we can do here. Not At least not for now. We can visit some of these areas, but that's for more in the later game, so we can't really do that now. That's not part of the story. Uh, just to cut a little bit faster, I'm going to go through the cycling road. We can only go through a bike, so let's just go ahead and ride over. And then, yeah, I'll go ahead and explain a little bit more what we're going to be doing next time, because once I hit the landmark, um, there's just going to be a bunch of storyline explanations from there, and just going over to Fortree City, but there is still quite a thing that we have to do before we can even reach there, which is going to be tied into the story. And of course, as we reach them, that's when they'll be explained further. But for now, we're just gonna go ahead and make our way over. And I do wanna do a quick team recap because that is something I go, wanna go ahead and do. All right, let's see. All right, uh, let me switch this over here. And I'll let, yeah, I'm gonna let C-Money stay there. So in terms of our team layout right now, C-Money at level 31, very close, very close to being Laron. Uh, definitely won't be doing it today, but we'll be seeing it very shortly. Through the loom, still at level 30, but it's still a hard hitter nonetheless. Our boy Road now is firing an Electro, it's super speedy, and can hit it very heavily. Gonna teach a Thunderbolt soon, but I'll wait on that for later. And our boy Oink is now the Grump Pig, very specially offensive Pokemon. That is certainly gonna be great to have. And our boy, our star Kip, all around physical, great water and special user. Slow, but is bulky to the punch. We'll handle everything. Unfortunately, our boy Swap Blue isn't doing too good. Tweet. Uh, I am thinking about one more poke to add to our journey, and unfortunately, Tweet might not make the cut. I don't want to say that for sure, but it's not looking great. As much as I did want to include it in our team, there is another poke I do want to dedicate for one of my guys out there, and have to wait on that and see. But we'll leave that for now. But this five-man team is looking. Very strong, that's for sure. Uh, what? Let's leave that for now. So this is what I was talking about. Now that we can enter this waterway over here, I'll just do a quick swim over. Hopefully no one interrupts me. Good. So this is now to pull up the map. We are now entering the region on the east side of Hoenn, Route 118. So from that point onwards to the east, this is all that we're going to be seeing for the remainder of the series. Because we're pretty much done over here. We may have to backtrack here for some storyline moments, but for now, we're just going to be staying over here for now. So Route 118, we'll start making our way up towards Fortree City. And then that's where we will see our sixth badge. And then along this way over here is where we'll be seeing our last and final teammate, hopefully. Maybe we'll see where this leads us to. But for now, we'll take it one step at a time, and we'll start our way from here all the way up north because there's a good amount of things to do there. But for now, guys, um, that's it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching today's video. We did a lot of backtracking. We're still quite a while away from the next gym. 
But of course, a lot of trainer battles along the way, a lot more storylines along the way. But we'll see what happens in the next episode. So guys, this has been your boy Ron. And until next time, we'll just start continuing our way up north to Route 118 and see what we explore there. I will see you guys then. Take care.